in a P1 on Sunday. It's now Wednesday and we're in another P1. This is crazy. Is your P1 week? Ooh, that, that is gonna be one so great video. God Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life of Apollo, some of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here. Obviously, if you watched my video yesterday, you'll notice that I maybe misunderstood, misheard some things that Manny was saying in Stradman's video. Had a little too much fun making my intro for today. But nevertheless, at least we got one out of two with the big 720S coming to the DDE channel, our second major headline from yesterday. But man, got a great episode in store for you guys today. Awesome, really, really cool hypercar developments for Stradman. Probably the last time we're we're ever gonna be able to do it. I can't imagine the video is gonna be very far from right now, but get ready guys, here we go. All right, so before we get into the crazy stuff that Stradman posted on Instagram, let's talk about what's occurred with the Stradman hypercar saga since he started posting about it well over a month ago. Yes, it's actually been well over a month and actually even further than that since he started talking about buying a hypercar, sort of teasing it at first and then officially announcing it on his channel. Between then and now we've had over over half a dozen videos talking about different possible purchases, him test driving a number of the cars that were gonna make the cut, the Senna, the P1, the Veyron, all that kind of jazz. And we're basically down to the wire right now with his previous video talking about the fact that it's down to a Veyron or a P1. That idea was furthered on Instagram with an awesome montage from that video put up. Just furthering, you know, asking people to weigh in and there are just thousands upon thousands of comments with the majority of people saying that they want a P1 both in polls and in comment sections over the Veyron. Obviously big price differences between the Veyron and the P1, uh, about a three to $400,000 difference depending on what example he's actually looking at. But what we're gonna be talking about today is some very mysterious pictures that sort of arrived on Instagram, his story section, just over the last three hours. So obviously at this point, everyone is looking for different clues about what he's actually going to pick and we've been thrown for a bunch of different loops all the course of the last three hours. Uh, the first Instagram story he put up basically showing someone's render of a Bugatti Veyron in complete purple, basically saying that's sick and the original poster saying I'm on team P1, but, and then showing this render he made for Stradman. Giving everyone a taste of what a, a purple Bugatti Veyron would actually look like and, and make no doubt about it guys, when he gets this car, it's gonna end up wrapped. So the one hour that this was up with nothing else around it. Everybody was sending me this particular picture being like, guys, this is it. This is the purple Bugatti. This is what he's going to buy. And then out of nowhere, we get this picture. Someone who made a purple rendering of a McLaren P1. Him sort of laughing at it. Him saying the purple suits the P1. Giving credit to the original sort of render creator. And then nothing for a few hours after that. And then the big one, guys. Uh, an actual picture of a Bugatti with looks like a purple interior. It's hard to tell if the exterior has any sort of purple hue to it as well. With a simple phrase at the top, just saying not a render with sort of a bunch of exploding head emoticons, sort of the purple devil emoticon afterward. And then absolutely nothing after that. Now he could easily be just saying like, this is not a render of a picture, but he could also be sort of previewing maybe something he actually bought. It's really difficult to tell. As we talked about over the last couple weeks and months, Stradman is sort of the master of success building hype for a purchase. The way he and Burlacker and the rest of the Utah crew sort of build hype for different ideas and purchases they're gonna be making is really second to none in the business. I've not seen anyone do it at a better level than him. And if I were to guess right now, guys, I would say that the actual video of the hypercar delivery is gonna be happening any day. I can't imagine he's gonna be able to string this out any longer than he already has. And I'll tell you guys right now, I'm firmly on Team P1, like the original poster was. I would love to see him get a McLaren P1 
51, one of my personal favorite cars, but it's really difficult to say. It seems like every video he's got sort of a different idea about what's exciting and what he wants. After he drove the Veyron, he wanted a Veyron, and then after he drove the P1, he wanted that too, and you heard him talk about that in a couple different videos, saying the next time you see the P1, it's gonna be in my garage. Being asked between the two, he pointed to the P1 and said he wants that one. So my question for you guys is what is he gonna get? Put your final answer in the comments below. P1 or Veyron, I wanna know what you think. All right guys, second story for the day, kind of a follow up on the one we did yesterday on Daily Driven Exotics and their brand new white McLaren 720S. We've been talking about this for the last two and a half weeks ever since we saw the live stream with Damon and Gentani talking about basically what they wanted to do to a McLaren 720. We saw it pop up in a number of videos and boom, this morning, 720S confirmed, Damon just took delivery of it. Awesome example, tons of carbon fiber and he sort of explained everything he wants to do with this car going forward just like we thought. So we have some crazy plans for this, things that no one has ever done before on the internet. Yes, I know there's been a couple of people who've had this car, but they ain't gonna do what I'm gonna do to this car. This car is gonna be so insane. We're gonna build the motor and this is gonna give Dave's car a run for his money. We're gonna shoot for 13 and 1500 wheel horsepower with a fully built motor. But there's another side of this sort of interesting 720S build off race thing that actually belongs to Alex Choi. Now we haven't heard from Alex Choi in a long, long time on YouTube, although he does put a decent number of, of pictures up on Instagram. But a couple days ago, we got a picture of what appears to be his McLaren 720S going under massive work right now, showing the picture saying, you know, so excited to finish this and reveal it hopefully in the next four to six weeks. Sorry for not posting for a while. I've been hands-on working on my car 24-7. Anyone have any guesses on what it will look like? Comment below. Make Daddy V2. So here's the deal, guys. Uh, Alex Choi obviously already pretty deep within the sort of the build aspect of what he's doing to his McLaren 720S. Obviously, if you guys remember what he did to his Huracan build, I can expect something pretty crazy here. And, and the question is whether or not Daily Driven Exotics is going to be able to sort of start building what they want to build in the sort of the same time frame. And if we're going to see some sort of awesome matchup between between both 720S builds. Let me know what you guys are more excited about in the comments below and if you'll be following both Alex Choi and Daily Driven Exotics in their quest to create an absurdly unique 720S. Next up guys, gotta mention Supercar Blondie uh, with just an absolutely hilarious video uh, basically featuring the Suzuki Jimny G-Wagon. Yeah, you heard that right. Somebody took a Suzuki Jimny and basically turned it into a micro G-Wagon complete with Brabus stuff everywhere. What an interesting sort of build this was. I wish we had the Jimny here in the United States, but man, what a, what a cool video. Gotta give props to Supercar Blondie for always coming up with interesting new ways to present material. Obviously not in the supercar concept realm, but a pretty interesting comparison. Go check out our video if you guys wanna see this video. Next up guys, Doug DeMuro in one of my favorite videos he's done in, in literally months. He did an entire video on the Buick Riata from the 1980s and basically talked about how high tech this car was for its time. Time. Literally just watching a couple minutes of this, you guys will just find a ton of joy in it. It's very bizarre and interesting to be able to look back years past. We're talking about 30 year difference now from what high tech was then compared to now and sort of how far we've come as a society in, in the car world. Love this video from Doug DeMuro. Go check it out, guys. You'll, you'll absolutely love it. Gotta mention Amelia Hartford, guys. Uh, crushing up with content and just hit half a million subs. Think about where she was, you know, a year and a half ago. She's up like 100,000 subs over the last couple months with no sign of stopping and most of this I think at least the recent growth can be attributed to her C8 content pushing forward with nitrous with twin turbo with crazy builds all over the place no one is pushing harder on C8 content in that realm right now go check out her latest video it's awesome next guys a shout out for my buddy watch JR go who recently bought a failing v10 engine m6 and the trials and tribulations of having to deal with a car that cheap definitely go check it out guys he's got a very interesting collection of cars a very similar channel to Hoovy's garage but the cars he buys are even cheaper than typically what Hoovy's gets go check it out guys watch JR goes BMW M6 sort of cheap series is a lot of fun absolutely killer video from Dota Media guys on the science of the McLaren F1 if you guys are a big McLaren F1 fan like most of us are you have to watch this video incredible look at the McLaren F1 and all the science and technology behind what made that car possible one of my favorite cars of all time. It's incredible to be able to see this video from Dota Media. I had the pleasure of actually seeing four McLaren F1s in the same spot about a year and a half ago before I started doing the news. Did a whole vlog on it. They're an incredible car to see in person.
course, and make sure to watch Dota Media's latest video on it. First, we covered Misha in the Bugatti Pur Sport, then the Senna afterward. Now he's in a 500 horsepower Toyota Super with no signs of stopping. Misha crushing the track content lately. Make sure to go check out his channel if you haven't seen it already. Fantastic stuff coming out of his channel lately. And speaking of some track battles, guys, Shmi with a great versus video between two of his cars, the AMG GTR Pro versus his SLS Black Series. What an awesome video sort of comparing two incredible Mercedes AMG products. And Shmi does a fantastic job as always. Love seeing him take out his cars and enjoy them the way that they should be driven. Check him out. And last but certainly not least, guys, uh, TJ Hong. We got to give him a massive shout out here because his latest R8 V10 Plus rebuild series is blowing up just like we thought it was going to. We're talking about four to 500,000 hits per episode. That's significantly over his norm. And this is just like the Ferrari 458 rebuild he did when we started following his channel about a year and a half ago. Seeing him rebuild the R8 V10 Plus is obviously resonating with his audience and a number of brand new viewers. Expect big things from TJ Hunt's series on this and make sure to go check it out if you haven't seen it already. It's great. And folks, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. A car's supposed to arrive hopefully tomorrow. It's been a long time coming. I'm kind of sick of waiting at this point. It's been horrible to have to give you guys updates on sort of the car not being shipped, but finally it's on its way should be here hopefully tomorrow and hopefully I'll be doing a brand new vlog with it and posting that within the next couple of days along with some other vlogs going over our different cars our house all that kind of jazz thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this sort of stuff and make sure to stay safe sane and healthy out there we'll catch you later bye